you're not good at sports. You joined the band. I wasn't banned. <laughs> We've got some instruments for you, but you can't play these. You'll have to use them to bring the beat. This week, our challenge is to basically be a band. Some of the ways we're going to make beats is with the cases. We could like drop them, make a, like a boom sound, or flip a latch. This week, my parents are coming to watch me on the show. It's kind of nerve-wracking. My parents have never come to any of my performances in my whole life of dancing, so this is kind of a big thing for me. I've been fighting with them for so many years. It's just now I can't let anything stop me. I mean, look how far we've gotten. All my life, I've been basically a disappointment to them, so if they don't like this, then I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Can they band together and help Eileen impress her parents? Bringing the beat to Tambourine by Eve, it's so real crew. should be very proud. See what the judges think, little mama? Yo, I just want to say, like, for real, y'all always have a smooth way of coming so hard. When Andrew stood over y'all and pretended that y'all was drums and y'all was, like, falling down, that was serious. The performance was great. I think that you guys really took your time in the beginning. Very detailed. Very detailed. Eileen, I see your eyes. Like, well, welling up with tears right now. And I understand why your parents would think that it's not a good idea to become a dancer because you can't really go far as a dancer. But now you have America's best dance crew, and you can go very far. Very far. And they are proud of you. They're sitting here smiling before you even stepped on the stage. They are very proud of you, and they love you very much. Keep going, girl. Strong. JC. Um, yes. I, I want to talk about uh, the challenge. The challenge is to use these props and to make it appear musical. And, and I have to say, you guys did it very, very, very well. Um, the funny part is you actually have instruments, and yet you're not playing the instruments. You're playing with everything else. I, I thought it was really cool how you slammed the tuba case down, and then the next thing was like buckles. And so you hear click, 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 and you're using the buckles. And then you hear some swish sound, and the cases are sliding. You just used the props very well. That was the challenge. So you did a wonderful job with that. Again, I, there were moments I thought the dancing was just a touch stiff, which I'm not used to because you guys are very smooth. I thought the dancing was a touch stiff. I know, here we go. Um, I, and, and Andrew, in, in the middle when you're beating them down, it could have been cool if you could have twirled the sticks because a lot of the bass drummers twirl the sticks a little bit. I might have thought about that. Overall, though, again, I thought it was a great performance. Um, so, good job. Shane. So real. The thing that makes this group hot is that y'all pay attention to detail. Every little thing that y'all did was like so perfect to the beat. Y'all didn't let the beat own you. When it came to choreography, y'all grooved. Instead of doing a bunch of and ones and twos, y'all actually grooved to this beat. And that's so hot to me because dancers can pop and lock and do all this crazy stuff, but when they can groove, that's the hottest thing ever because you can do that all day. Yo, when y'all did the aerials off the bleachers, beautiful, y'all added acrobatics, y'all did great choreography. When Brian, when you did your aerial at the end, that was lovely, right here on the slow-mo. This is what I'm talking about, look. When you jumped up, did that aerial, like an aerial tuck flip, that was perfect, y'all had a great ending, a great intro, and everything y'all did was just like exactly what I expected to see. 
Good job tonight, all right?